Alright, what's up guys? This is Iceman, bringing you episode number 20 of my Gears of War 3 rank commentary. And in this episode, I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, why I've been slacking on my Gears content. Even though I let you guys know that I'm going to slack a little bit on the content, because, you know, two big games that came out that I bought. That was a nice Superman. But anyways... Uh, I got Assassin's Creed Revelations and Modern Warfare 3, and of course I'm not going to be able to keep up my Gears content if I'm doing a Let's Play for Assassin's Creed and I'm doing a uh, Modern Warfare 3 commentary series. So I mean, it only makes sense that my Gears content is going to slack a little bit. I mean, I don't have, I'm going through a tough time right now, so I'm not going to have time to do Gears videos every day, you know. Uh, I got several comments from you guys saying, oh, you're letting down the Gears of War community. You know, there's plenty of guys out there putting up Gears of War videos every day, you know. We have a full team of chaotic members that do nothing but play Gears of War. So, I mean, I don't, I don't want to hear it that I'm letting down the Gears community. You know, I'm really busy, and uh, when, I, when I have time to put up a video, you know, I have time to put up a video. I'm not going to, you know, if I'm having a shitty day and I get a comment like, oh, you're letting down the Gears community... That's not going to make me put in my Gears of War disc and go get a gameplay for you guys, you know? You know, when I'm having a shitty day, I want to go out with my friends and just enjoy my time. I'm not going to, you know, sit in, uh, sit in my room and um, play against tryhards all night and get my ass raped by hammer bursts and fucking dudes setting up strats. It's just, it's really not what I need right now, but... You know, I actually got on and I got this gameplay. You know, it only took me like three or four matches to get a gameplay because I've been playing a lot of different games, so it took me a while to get the feel for the game back. And I end up going, uh, I, I want to say like 16 and 5 or something like that. Nothing like special, you know, but it was a nice 3.0 KD or something like that. I was playing with Choppa009 and Chaos Marine. And um, some uh, some other guy we don't even know who he is. Uh, some some dude I don't know. But anyways, um, yeah, his name's Faint Reactive. So that's who it is. I have no idea. I'm I'm cranking the shoulder lean right now, guys. I was getting ready for the club. But anyways, um, I just want to let you guys know that I will be trying to keep up my gears content as much as I can. But I'm not gonna make myself get in a bad mood by stressing to get gameplays you know it's just you know I like to have fun when I play and I don't want to stress out and that's you know it's not what YouTube's about it's about doing something that you like to do this isn't a job this is a hobby so I, I never want to look at this as a job because I squeeze these videos in my day whenever I can and if I don't have time you know I don't have time but it's been a while and since I've missed a day uploading. I've uh, uploaded even throughout my breakup with my girlfriend. I've been uploading almost every day. Maybe two videos a day sometimes. So I'm trying to keep busy with the uploads. Just support me in my Assassin's Creed and my Modern Warfare 3. I'm getting really good feedback on my Modern Warfare 3 commentaries. Not so much my Assassin's Creed. A lot of you guys are telling me that you're not watching the Assassin's Creed videos because you would like to play the game first for yourself. Um, I would like to do a Grand Theft Auto 5 Let's Play, and that would be very interesting. I don't know when the release date for Grand Theft Auto 5 comes out, but if someone can inform me when the release date was, that'd be great, because if it's next Christmas, you know, that's a long ways away, so I might be able to squeeze in another Let's Play. Just let me know what kind of games are out there. I know there's Skyrim. Skyrim looks really great, but there's so many people covering it right now. I know Like Butter's got Skyrim. I know, um, you know, Muzza Fuzza's got Skyrim. Fuzza Muzza's got Skyrim. Everyone's got Skyrim right now. And they seem to really love it. There's so much you can do, different characters. And, uh, you know, it's not really my game, but I'm sure if I got it, I would get into it. It seems like more of like a World of Warcraft kind of game. Where, like, you're in this big world and you have these different you know guys you can use like different elves and mages and all that kind of crazy shit you know some people have brute force and some people have spells that you can cast I don't know it's it seems pretty crazy but um if you guys are into that definitely go pick up Skyrim I, I just cut the um, fast I, I cut down the commentary a little bit and just skipped right into the next round so that's just what happened right there my PVR didn't skip I just skipped it myself but um I believe I get like two or three headshots this life with the sniper. Uh, I was a little bit rusty with it, so forgive me for not being 
fucking an aimbot with a sniper. That's what some people don't get. Like, they're like, oh, Iceman, I watch your commentaries. And where's the on-screen triples with Snipe, man? And I'm like, dude, you know, I'm just an average guy just like you are. You know, I just happen to have, you know, been exceptionally good with a sniper. It doesn't mean that I never miss. Like, come on. And uh, to be honest, I, I don't even use commentaries where I get really good clips. Like, if I get a really good clip in a commentary... It's normally a commentary where I don't even really do good in because when you go for clips, you don't play smart. If you get an on-screen dub with snipe, you're gonna want to push that wall of three guys and go for that lucky blind fire. It's just what you're gonna do. And uh, if I was going for a gameplay and I hit an on-screen dub, I would have sat back and uh, waited and probably made a better shot. You know, going for gameplays and going for clips are two different things. Uh, if you're going for uh, clips then you really, really are going to be playing aggressive. But if you're going for gameplays, you're going to play smart and more laid back. Like, see, I hit this headshot right here. And, you know, I I could have hit the on-screen dub, but I choked. But it's okay, you know, I waited a little bit. I could have took that shot right there, you know. It would have been a harder shot. I could have took that one as well, but I was waiting for that opportune shot. And I saw it right here. And was, this was actually a very good shot. I hit that shot, and I was like, nice, nice. And I think I go around the back of the mountain pick up another guy. But, yeah, it's all about playing smart when you're going for gameplays. And never you never want to rush your shots when you're going for gameplays, guys. Because, I mean, if you're doing good, I, uh, missing with the sniper over and over again can ruin a gameplay. So, I, I would say if you're already like 10-1 and 1 going for a gameplay, just don't even pick up the sniper because you could just ruin your gameplay. Nobody wants to see a guy go 10-1 and 1 with snipe. And then literally miss all 8 shots or 11 shots. How many shots you have in the rifle. We're playing alpha playlist so I believe it's 11 shots. I'm not sure if they changed it. But I remember one day when I picked up the sniper on alpha it was 11, it was 11 bullets and it was a 3 minute respawn time. But this was actually my first time playing Gears of War since the one shot, a one kill playlist. So it's been a while, but I uh, intend on getting back to the Gears of War community when the for this Thanksgiving weekend. The new maps are hitting uh, the servers, so everyone's going to be able to play them. Uh, I believe right now you can only play the maps when the servers are down and the host of the uh, match has the maps. So it's And basically everybody in the game has to have the maps as well. So I actually haven't even got into a game with the maps yet. I know some people have and they've been commenting saying, yo, the maps are out. I was playing on Rustlung earlier. I mean, that's not the case. That was only because you got lucky and everybody in the game had the maps and the host had the maps himself and the servers were down. So that's like oh, like a 1 in 100 chance that that's going to happen for me. So, you know, I, I've been playing a lot of games lately, so that 1 in 100 chance probably is never going to happen. So I, I look forward to playing these new maps, though, guys. They look sick. And um, I, some of my chaotic members were telling me that they hit like an on-screen quad in Rust Lung on the one shot one kill playlist. And I was like, damn, that's fucking sick. I was like, you got lucky to get into that map because it's going to look sick in a montage. But um, yeah, guys, uh, I'm playing like a little fucking noob right now running around with Lancer. But, you know, that's the smart way to play. If you got a full team with you. One guy sticks back with Lancer, or maybe even two guys stick back with Lancer while the third guy um, rushes with shotgun. It's definitely annoying when you're the opposing team and you're getting Lancered by two people as you're getting shotgunned. You're pretty much fucked. So, I think this guy gets the best of me right here. But I respawn. I, I skip my respawn so I can just quickly get up there. Uh, I told my team, I was like, no, 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 let me get him. I want my swift vengeance. <laughs> So I go around the corner on here and pick up that kill, get that swift vengeance, and uh, this commentary is wrapping up, guys. I got to get to work, and I'll upload this video before I go. Peace out, guys, and uh, take it easy.